even if the sign is off, keep yourself yourself back in case you experience an unexpected drop here. Remember to use false friends when open the door. Just imagine living your life being afraid of eating food. You have to be relentlessly vigilant. Every snack, every meal, you're constantly thinking, what if I eat something and I have a reaction? That means an immediate trip to the emergency room, sometimes hospitalizations, or even worse. The greatest obstacle facing those of us with life-threatening food allergies is that people think it's a diet. It's not a diet. It's a disease. There are many misconceptions around people living with life-threatening food allergies. It's a first-tier health issue that needs to be recognized, like diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Even though we are vigilant, there are parents and families who've lost a child to the disease. It devastates us to the core, because that could also be me. When we asked the doctor if he went right to the ER, would he still be alive? And they said, it's very probable, because if he walked in, they would have seen the symptoms. But mistakes happen. It's exhausting to always be on high alert, and it's often in those moments that you relax that the mistakes happen. There are many misconceptions around people living with life-threatening food allergies. People often think we're just picky eaters, over-demanding individuals, high-maintenance individuals. We're not any of those things. We're all people pursuing normalcy, navigating our life to make sure we're not in a situation where we or our children could have a reaction that can lead to anaphylaxis. There are so many triggers in the day that cause your mind to go into overdrive with all the questions you have to continually have to ask yourself, especially for parents who have children in school. They have to trust the school, the teachers, the classroom environment, but there are so many questions. You hope your kids will fit in and be treated like every other kid, but they don't. The psychological trauma that begins there increases because children are also targets of bullies and kids with food allergies are an easy target. There are so many social interactions that are just impossible for kids to participate in. What should be an easy play date? Call the parent, arrange the time and place, take your child and relax is not a reality. You have to build a different kind of relationship 
as parents and adults dealing with each other, there's a higher level of communication and trust you must build before you can agree to the play date. It's not about being difficult, it's about making sure that your child will be safe. You have to always be your child's strongest advocate and teach your child to speak up and advocate for themselves. What is often fun for a family is to go grocery shopping. The amount of label reading and analyzing means it's a chore to select food that will not jeopardize or harm your child. Avoiding the allergens is like avoiding a minefield because it's filled with things that potentially could kill them. When eating out with friends and family, if one person has a food allergy, you all have that allergy because when you go out, nobody's going to order something that someone is allergic to. Cross-contamination or cross-contact is when an allergen is inadvertently transferred from a food or a surface containing that allergen to another food or surface. In restaurants, you have to establish a different kind of relationship. You have to communicate in a way that they understand that you have a life-threatening food allergy and let them know exactly what you're allergic to. also have to be aware of the server's hands. What did they serve before you? Are they inadvertently creating cross contact with allergens? It's an entirely new level of trust. They literally have your life in their hands. It's mutual respect and understanding that is built over a meal in an uncanny way to keep everyone as safe as possible. So imagine, you go through all of that, all those questions, the struggle to make choices and you still can have a reaction and you have no idea why. This is the life of an individual with a severe food allergy. I'm Dr. Sung Pobletti, CEO of FAIR, and I took this job because I too have life-threatening food allergies. It's time for us to work together, innovate, and find a cure.